Okay, this is a quick overview of uh, my latest project, which is a SACN Artnet Pixel LED driver. So uh, you can drive your WS2812 LEDs uh, over the Ethernet uh, from your PC, just connecting into your either your PC Ethernet port or perhaps even via your router. Here's my hardware that I've got at the moment, which is uh, which is a back-to-back -back board which is uh, an, an 80 mega board and we've also got an ENC 28J60 Ethernet board which is running via SPI. Um, I've got power coming in via USB here and I've just got at the moment, I've just got one connection out by the, the three pin JST plugs to, uh, to some LEDs. Uh, this, I've actually worked this out, I've configured the software so that I can run two independent complete universes over Ethernet uh, so you'd have uh, say 100 and, uh, 170 LEDs on one strip and oh, it's for one universe and 170 LEDs on another strip so that would make 340 which is the two universes so going back to this browser software the browser software is actually held inside there and is served to your browser once you put in the right IP address, I mean for this case it's 192.168.2177 um, and from here we can actually change between Artnet and the SACN protocol and we can save it and all changes made are saved to uh, save to the, uh, the EEPROM inside my, my little box there. So it's all saved inside here so when you power, power down, power back up again it's remembered everything. OK, so we've then got, on the next line down, uh, we've got uh, the uh, IP configuration, which is our MAC address, our IP address of the unit, then we've got a subnet mask and gateway IP. Uh, so you'd select or you'd, you'd change whatever you needed to change inside there and click on Save Configuration. If you're going to change the IP address, uh, you will need to obviously change the IP address in there so it matches up um, and then we've got uh, we've got what you might want to put in here for your your settings for your SACN uh, what your net number is what your subnet number is and also what your universe would be and that would be your starting universe so you'd have universe 3 would be the first WS2812 channel and universe 4 would be the second one Further down here, uh, we've got uh, settings for how many LEDs you've actually got in a row uh, so that it will only rattle out the right amount of LEDs uh, out. So if you've got 50, put 50 in there. If you've got a complete universe of 170, put 170 in there. Then I've added this uh, section here, which is um, essentially for... Uh, it's just a, just an idea that I've had for, for differences in uh, RGB panels if you've got some that have got greens that are brighter than other panels maybe you can tweak the green down a little bit or the or the blue up so basically you can match uh, your panels or if you've found that your show is actually too bright and you want to punch it down a little bit to, to half brightness you could say put 128 into all of these and save the configuration and finally I've got uh, I've got a little a little fun thing which I, I, I use uh, which is just really there just to test uh, all your LEDs so you can put you can click on the blues say for example and uh, and clicking on uh, test now will actually put all the blues on but it'll also put the blues on at the level that you've selected there so if say for example I make a change to this level and change that to 50 um, and then save the configuration uh, we've dropped down to 50 then so it's something's completely interactive between the two so I mean you can select your reds on there as well and click on test now and then your reds are coming obviously this is you can't see the color uh, that I can see but uh, if I if I pitch the reds down as well let's put them down to about let's put them to something different 50 let's put them to 50 and let's save our configuration from that. Uh, you'll see we've got the, the blue and the red coming in, which gives us a nice magenta. So essentially it works uh, quite well. Uh, and then let's just kill it all off. Let's, uh, let's select the blues and the reds from there. 
and then clicking test now will unselect everything and switch everything back off. Uh, so once once you've actually got this set up, there will be a method of actually getting into configuration mode. Uh, once you've saved everything as you want to, you would then reboot the device and then we would be in uh, UDP streaming mode, which would just stream uh, your ARTnet or SACN data packets straight over the Ethernet from the application that you're running. And it would, should hopefully just work straight into the LEDs. And that's it.